Welcome, Virgo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of July. This week sees on Monday Mars make its way into your 12th solar house. Don't be surprised if over the next six weeks someone from your past, uh, perhaps a, a quite um, authoritative person, comes back into your situation. It's possible that lessons or experiences which were shared by someone influential before now could come back into your thinking. And of course your ruler Mercury is already in the sign of Leo but does go into a retrograde on Saturday. So this potential reappearance of someone that you used to be connected to is really heightened even more by the combination of Mars, Mercury and the retrograde. But of course, this week also sees a solar eclipse in the sign of Cancer. And the arrival of Venus, which is exalted in the sign of Cancer, on Thursday. Now this combination is very sociable. And therefore, the two areas have to coexist within your situation. Or you need to make them work for you. So, in one part of your situation, you are being encouraged to join and connect communicate, interact. So it's brilliant if you are someone who's very outgoing. But this more psychological energy through Mars and Mercury is just asking you to test out a particular principle. And I think around these associations. And I think it does come down to the concept of trust. So it's okay if you make new friends in the next six months, if you expand your interactions, you network more. But be guided by who is good for you, who's going to nurture you, who's going to understand you at a deeper psychological level. Because I must be really honest with you, Virgo, Mars moving through the 12th solar house, as it will do, through to the middle of August, could stir up some old issues within you. If there is some sediment, emotional sediment, at the bottom of your being, if anything is unresolved, hurts, angers, sadnesses. At points you may feel very tearful, at other moments rather angry. And it is going to be important not to push these away and therefore embrace them, see them as being part of you. Don't reject them, don't be ashamed if you have some raw emotions that go to either end of the spectrum. And if, even if you share them with a trusted person, or perhaps a caring friend, or even a counsellor, this can be a time of huge growth for you. Have you ever had your personal horoscope prepared based on your time, date and place of birth? If not, the information within this will go way beyond your zodiac sign. Based on your character analysis or 12-month personal horoscope forecast, if you choose to have both, I will give you a 30% discount. My forecast uses a modern form of prediction called directions. This is where we advance a natal birth chart forwards one degree for every year of your life and then compare it to your natal birth chart when you were born and also to current transitory planetary activity. A large astrological study found that this was the most accurate form of forecasting. Why not join me beneath this video on the link and check this out for yourself. But for now, it's been a pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye.